Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial for Amp Creator uh, Villages. So today what we're going to be working on is uh, setting up the structure blocks, setting up structure filler blocks, and making uh, structure filler structure or making filler structures for the structures itself and finishing the structures up. Um, I'm just going to be doing um, two sets today and then I'm going to be doing the rest off camera and uh, I'm going to explain how the procedures work. So hopefully it won't be too long of a video, so let's hop into it. So before we get started, uh, one of the things that you're going to want to do is make a 8x8 um, structure filler block. Uh, this is just a basic block. Uh, it doesn't have any special properties or anything. I have disabled the, um, the actual tick rate to zero. I've only set the uh, the hardness and resistance it won't really matter too much uh, with the the hardness or resistance I just did that uh, to show you that you can do that um, make it name it something that you can understand later when you're actually in game because you're going to need to be placing it down and just make sure that gravity isn't enabled because it's important that it can float so other than that uh, just uh, zip through all this other settings and then you're good to go uh, the, for the other blocks here, uh, you're going to need a structure block 8x8 or whatever dimensions. I'll explain what the dimensions mean in uh, just a few minutes. But um, you're going to need uh, the uh, structure block, the dimensions, and then the direction as well. So there are four directions for uh, the structures that we're going to be working with. Uh, so make sure you create the same structures. Uh, basically the same thing as the structure filler block. It's just um, uh, it's just more directed for um, actual structures themselves. So once you get that all done, uh, let's uh, hop into game and I'll show you how it all works. So one thing that I did change was the height of the structures. Um, as you can see now, it is uh, pretty high. So it's actually 32 by 32 on the Y axis. Uh, I figure it will probably be easier to um, set up the um, the filler blocks themselves if they are all even. So when you uh, go to, before you go to export it, what you want to do is uh, basically set the Y position down here to 32. And then uh, what you also want to do is place your structure filler block on all your structures that are the same dimensions. Uh, this structure, these two structures here and here are eight by eight. So as you can see, eight by eight. And uh, what you want to do is uh, place your according uh, structure filler block in the corner where your axes meet, but not the Y axis. You want it actually at the top of your structure. And what this will basically do is uh, spawn this structure here, which is just going to be a big um, square of air in a 8x8x32 or uh, 8 by 32 by 8 uh, cube, as you can see here. So this is our structure filler, our 8x8 filler structure. Uh, you're going to need one of those for each different direction or in size of your structures. So in total, those are all 8x8. These are 8x13, these are 13x8, uh, and then these are 13x13. 13 13. So uh, these all can be in one group, uh, those all can be in one group, and all these can be in one group, and all eight of these can be in the same group as well. So uh, this would be a group of itself, and um, when you get that all set up, uh, basically what you can do is just save all the structure blocks in um, the coordinates and then we can move on to the next thing. So you're probably wondering how all this will actually work and uh, that uh, comes down to the procedure system itself. So the structure filler block, this basically placed the air above the structure when it's added. So when you go to set up your structure, uh, it's recommended just disabling it for now, but uh, what you would want to do is place down your structure filler um, 8x8 uh, procedure here and do that for the other procedures as well. So when block is added, it will uh, run the procedure. So when the structure is added, it adds the block, which will 
incidentally add extra structures if it's connected to the block. So for now, just leave that disabled. Um, however, I will go over what they do. So if we open the structure filler block uh, eight by eight, as you can see here, it's just basically placing the um, structure filler block above uh, the block by one. And then it's basically um, just removing the block itself. So it's going to paste it, uh, the structure in the current, uh, current location, but one block above. And then it's going to remove this, the block that it's generating it from. And what this will do is it'll create a, like a infinite uh, stack until it reaches the uh, void. Um, and what that will do is basically uh, just keep the error above or keep the um, blocks above it all air. So that'll be how this part works. Uh, the other directions uh, we have east. Uh, this also will be one block added. So you would want this set to east and um, same concept, uh, just a little bit different. Now to understand where everything's gonna be placed, you kind of have to do a little bit of math, but it's not too, too much. Uh, we have two directions that uh, can fit on this axis too, right? So, um, or two um, directions that will fit on this particular size. So it's an eight by eight structure. We have structure zero and structure one that both face east. So I've given it a 50% chance of spawning either one of these and it's removing the block. Now the reason why this is set up the way it is, is the, the way the accesses work. The axes are always on the negative X, negative Y, and negative Z um, point of the, the uh, filled in area. So what you have to do is keep that in mind when you're actually spawning the structures. So for this to be east, uh, what we need to do is offset it um, one block positive on the um, on the uh, X direction because uh, the coordinates for um, basically offsetting the uh, direction for north, east, south, and west is north is negative Z, um, east is positive X, south is positive Z, and west is negative X. So this is east, so it's positive X, one, because it's um, going to be uh, one block direction on the other. Th Remember that the axis is negative X, right? So we want to make sure that the structure is pasted uh, accordingly to where the structure block will be placed. So this is going to be pasting it um, one block uh, towards the um, X position. So just uh, make sure that it's positive one on that. Uh, negative one, we want it to spawn one block below the path, uh, so it's all a, a flat terrain. So make sure that the um, coordinate is negative one on all of these as well. And then it's just basically removing the block like the other procedure. And uh, for south, uh, this is basically a positive one for Z. Again, we went over how the uh, directions is set up. Um, north is negative Z, uh, south is positive Z, and same thing. Actually, this should be, yeah, that's all set up properly. And uh, for the, um, what are we on? West, west is negative x so we needed to actually offset this eight blocks on negative x because of the size of the uh, x coordinates so when you actually go to paste your um, x coordinates make sure that it's set up like this and again a 50 percent chance and then it will remove the block and uh, the last one is uh north so north is negative z uh or Z negative eight, so that's basically that. Y is still negative one, 50% chance, and then it removes the block. 
So when you have all that set up, uh, we can move on to uh, making the paths uh, next episode. So definitely tune in for that. Uh, it's all starting to come together when we actually start building the paths and everything. So uh, hopefully you guys found today's video helpful. Uh, it will come together a lot faster when we get the paths all set up. We have um, a few other things that we uh, for before we actually get to the end. We're about uh, midway there. So next episode, what we're going to be working on is making the paths, uh, path blocks, uh, path structures, and um, structure spawn blocks. So we're going to be adding those to the actual path and just a basic some other things as well as naming the paths and stuff like that. So, and then we have a few other, uh, eight, four other tutorials to do after that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.